Well, for more, let's bring in Anna Kaminsky. She is the director of that foundation, as we just mentioned. And um, as we just heard there in that report, a call for a central memorial um, in order to remember people who were persecuted in East Germany. I was actually surprised to hear that one doesn't exist. Um, what do you think about having one like that? Yes, I think we should have a national memorial for all the victims of communist repression and dictatorship. And what we have here in Germany, there are a lot of monuments, of museums, of memorial places all over the country. But what we don't have is a national and a central monument, which, yeah, which might be a point where not only the victims, but also um, normal people can go to have an idea what happened here in uh, in communist dictatorship? Why is it so important to have that? I mean, do do Germans, people who are who are visiting the country, who want to learn about its past, I mean, do they not know enough about East Germany's past? Would you say? You know that we uh, that in our history we had two totalitarian regimes and two dictatorships: the Nazi dictatorship, which is well known, and and after World War II, um, the. In the eastern part, there, there was installed a communist dictatorship. And yes, I think that until today, we don't know enough about the communist dictatorship. And uh, to have such a public sign and a kind of political demonstration that the victims of this dictatorship are not forgotten, and they get a kind of public honoring via such a memorial, I think this would be a good a good, uh, yeah, a good thing and a good symbol. But, you know, it's not just about the victims, though, um, that we also need to focus on. Because, for example, I mean, some who used to live in the eastern states, um, they say that, you know, always focusing on the bad things that happened in East Germany devalues them in, and their parents. I mean, what do you think about that line of thinking? And, and how do you address that appropriately? Some years ago, I was asked um, uh, what was good in the GDR. And I, I should say or explain that not all things in the GDR were bad. And I said, yeah, you are right. We had a nice life. We, were, we, had, we had happy families. But this is not the point. The point is in which system you are living. And I uh, um, answered, uh, I think you shouldn't ask me what was good in the GDR. You should ask me what is good in a dictatorship. Because that's the point that we don't have to just judge about the personal life or the individual things people lived or, or didn't live. We have to speak about the systems. We have to uh, speak about lack of democratic rights, of freedom. We have to speak about uh, um, humiliation and, yeah, and repression to, as, as, a, as an experience of everyday life. Why? Why is it so important to talk about those things? I mean, why is it so important to come to terms with East Germany's past? Um, on one hand, of course, this is part of our, uh, of our history. This is part of the history of this divided country and of this divided continent, because Germany was it's at the it's a borderline of the two uh, um, systems who were confronted at the Cold War curtain, the Iron Curtain. On one hand side, and on the other hand side, it it has to do with with our imagination in what society we do want to live. Uh, would we ex would we accept that uh, minorities are repressed and excluded? Would we accept that uh, freedom rights and democratic rights are are dominated by a small group of, pe of people who may say to you what is allowed and what is not allowed. Thank you so much for joining us to speak with us this morning. Anna Kaminsky, as we mentioned, you're the director of the Federal Foundation for the Study of Communist Dictatorship in Eastern Germany. I thank you very much.